Slim Wreck TV. You the streets don't love you. Not at all. By now, homie, you should have knew that. Word. Ain't no need no Browns in this town. You a new jack. No I know I'm valid everywhere I go. I, I'm I'm on a different level when it level when it comes to banging like worldwide. I could get on the on with any OG from anywhere in the world. Shout out to my G GDs. Even like when Ross had a situation, I called Chicago, talk to the big homies. You know what I mean? Like them guys. So like, and we we you know what I mean? We smooth and shit out. Like I'm there's levels to this shit, man. I'm just a skinny nigga, so niggas might get it confused. But I box too. I get busy too. We get nice mm. with the hands too. I've been in brawls since 12, bad chains, one on one, two black guys, all kind of bro. Like, I'm from the real level, bro. Like, I'm not these little kids just that were scared to take a hit, scared to fight, mm. scared to bust Back. a lip, scared to get cut. I like this kind of shit. My name is Bangham. Now, this cut actually go with my name, Bangham. I'm really Bangham, mm. nigga. Like, just Bangham, nigga. It's my name. How your name gonna be banging on these don't gotta bang on you? You banging everybody, but you don't got one fuck it. I hold mine yeah. down, but I ain't got no cut on no suckers like a nigga just cut me, I'm on my feet, I hug my face, ran or didn't do nothing, you crazy. I'm banging and all that in my cell in my sleep in, in the cup, jumping out of covers on niggas, fuck out of here. You did? You know what I mean? So I ain't get cut on no suckers like no name shit. It's war. And I started a war. I ain't care what happened after that. It it, it is what it is. No, I mean, but back to the, the the these youths, man. They gotta they gotta do better. Uh -huh. Feel better about yourself, man. Like this is facts. Like feel better about yourself, man. No, I mean, like I don't know about this internet shit. that's ever like nigga, and a nigga could say whatever about me. I got the baddest bitches. My my kids is the prettiest. Like, you know, what I mean, once you're a real nigga, they gotta understand that even if, for the ugly niggas, right? Because I'm an ugly nigga, right? I got the jewels for the ugly niggas, right? Confidence is everything, bro. How you carry yep. yourself, you keep it as everything, bro. Let yeah. me tell you something about, about hygiene, right? And your hygiene got to be on point. You could be an ugly nigga, but your hygiene on point. You know what I mean? Bitches love a nigga that smell better. If you smelling good all the time, a bitch will love you. She wouldn't care over a nigga with Jordans or Balenciagos on. Because he could have a nigga Balenciagos on, but his hygiene ain't up to par. So a bitch ain't going to want A real bitch ain't going to want that. But once your hygiene right. always good, ugly niggas, and your confidence on point, your swag, right, nigga? It don't they matter. They love it. you. Take it from an ugly nigga. And I'm a real goon. I only fuck bad bitches, different kind of bitches. That's how I keep it. I'm real. They're around me. They know they protected. They secure. Even in Trinity, there's only baddies with me, real. Like, they love me everywhere. I'm a hundred. They know they're around me. Ain't no games, no line. Like, I'm just real, bro. And this is fact. So for all my ugly niggas, man, confidence is everything. They can smell good. You know what I mean? Keep your hygiene up. You know what I mean? Like a lot you of niggas. You dropping crazy gems, gyms, man. You dropping yeah, crazy gems. Man. So yeah, man. Yeah, confidence is everything. And, man, these niggas, they got to know that, too, because these youths ain't feeling good about they self, man. Love yourself the way you are, my nigga. That's the era I'm from. You know what I mean? Fuck that. These youths need to hear this shit, my nigga. I, I see too much lame shit going on, bro. Too much faggot shit going on. Too much females. Niggas is letting niggas run. Niggas, females is jacking their kids to be gay. Some, I be online, some people agree with their boy being gay. I said, what? Nah, nah, my Crazy. little nigga. Wow. I'm, I'm murdering that little nigga. <laughs> not my little, uh, not, uh, my nigga, my, not my young boy. Because my wow. young boy, even know better. My my D my fact see it go down with DNA too. My DNA know better. A lot of these DNA be fucked right. up. That's what these people be they we could talk our science shit now, cause I could talk on any level. That's why a lot of these DNA been fucked up. That's why this whole shit mixed up now. So a lot of these gay people got that motherfucking them them crackers, that reptile DNA. You know what I mean? Because it is reptiles, like black people, mm. nigga. We, we like yeah, yeah they got that reptile yeah. DNA. That's why they come out feminine, my nigga. Even if they black and white, but the the real breeded um reptiles is them. You know who it is. The hate to say where they bloodline came from. Them Caucasian, because the first man on earth was black. We could think about. We could talk about it. No, I mean we could talk about it. Yo, you're, you're getting dead. deep, King. Keep going, King. 
Now we could talk about it because and 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 since the beginning of the the beginning of kind, man, our own people sell us out, right? Because you had some ill scientists, nigga, right? Started doing DNA shifting and changing. That's how the color and everything came in play and all that. Ship niggas out to different islands. I ain't gonna get too deep to niggas because I don't want to lose them niggas, right? So if I start talking about everything, I'm gonna lose some of these slow, stupid niggas. That's why I'm talking. I got to talk like this so my generation to understand for my intelligent people, right? You had some scientists back in the days, beginning of the time, all that, nigga. Everything on Earth was black, nigga. The first Indians, black, nigga. The first Chinese, black, nigga. Everything on Earth yes, was sir. black, nigga. Before all this DNA shit came in play, right? But you had this scientist, nigga, right? Like, I don't want to get too deep. That y'all are going to think I'm crazy, so I'm going to cut some parts out, right? But you had this scientist, nigga, right? He got fed up. He was just an evil, wicked nigga. It was two righteous brothers. He was mad at his brother. He went the other way. They they was both scientists, nigga. He started testing DNA because he wanted to start his own tribe and his own village and his own shit, nigga. You know so they started crossbreeding with black, all kind of different DNA. He even took his mm. troops out, sailed out to their own little island, and did these shits over the years for multiple years, thousands of years, switched the whole shit around. That, that DNA that shift, shift, shit, you heard? Crossbreeding mm. shit, making the lighter ones with the dark skin one, because this shit come down to DMA and, and all DNA and all kind of shit. I'm on one, get two people and lose niggas, right? But that's where it started from. And then they just started lightening niggas who discolor. They made the Caucasian mix this with that, that with that, this with this, and got the Chinese crossbreeding with this one, the Indians with this one, Mexicans with this one, but everything was black at first. And just crossbreeded our whole shit, my nigga. Mm. So some, of the, some, some of these black black guys who you think might, might be black might have some fucked up DNA in it. That's why some of them grasp with the devil shit. Or, or that homosexuality shit, my nigga. Yo, it's and funny niggas could Google. And they, listen though, they could Google all this shit I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Is the three? Is the is the nigga got three brains and shit? The nigga got three brains, nigga. The ill black scientist from long time ago, nigga. The mad scientist, nigga. Go check that out. That's facts. You know what I mean? a lot this, of gems, man. No, but this is facts, and it makes sense if you got common sense. Uh, the the the. It's like with dogs, you crossbreed and every shit to get all kind of shit. You know, these niggas been working experiments on black people for years, my nigga. The first one mm. was doing experiment was a black person. There wasn't no white man. Mm. Know what I mean? Niggas made their own shit, man. Like, like I'm telling you. Crazy. You reptiles, man. You got aliens still walking this earth, too. Them reptiles, them DNA. They might not be actual lizard, but they got lizard DNA in them, man. A lot of Caucasians, even black, because everything is coarse breeding now. Because the same reptile having sex with um a lady or whoever, wherever they go to Mexico, India, China, when they cross breeding with them, you get all kind of pretty looking different breed shit and colors and shit. You understand what I'm saying? Niggas went around the world, yeah. took over the world, did this shit, man. This is facts, man. Google that shit if they think I'm tripping. Nah, you know man. Nah, that shit real. I read about it. Plus, I saw videos, all that. All that shit's online too. Yeah, but this is facts. Don't it make sense if you if you got common sense? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm one of them ill niggas. I'm a spiritual brother. My DNA different. I'm a warrior. Mm. Uh, Cause I'm, I remember how you asked me how I, how I feel still being alive at this age, thirty. I'm like, yo, it's a blessing because at the end of the day, I know I got my ancestors around me everywhere I go. You dig? I don't pray to no like God or nothing. I pray to um. My ancestors, bro. I pray to the universe, bro. Mm. And that's who died for me. Like, you know what I mean? No disrespect to nobody who believe in their religion. Mm. Ain't no Jesus Christ died for me. Ain't no white man on the cross died for me. In fact, my ancestor died for me. My ancestors got thrown in water for me. You know what I mean? My ancestors got hung and lynched for me. Ain't no, you know what I mean? Back. Ain't no Jesus. Back. I want to hear that story, you heard? I, I, so I prayed. I, come, I wouldn't even say pray. I communicate and meditate to my ancestors. You did. I'm like, this is why a lot of people got to understand, Rami. You can't disrespect That's me deep. or try to wish harm on me. So whoever be praying on me or wishing harm, like I'm protected, like really by my ancestors on some spiritual different level shit. So that's how I lasted this long. If a lot of people don't know, my ancestors mm. with my ancestors with me right now, everywhere I go. Salute, King. That's that's some deep shit. You on a different yeah. level. Yeah, been on a different level. I just mm -hmm. ain't understand who I was. 
Mm. Now, if you got something on your chest, whether you're going through it in your relationship or you're just going through it with siblings and homies and maybe your homegirls, you can call me up and hit my line and get it off your chest. 310-598-2974 and leave that voicemail and just get it off your chest. Peace. And Rack TV. The streets don't love you. Not at all. By now, homie, you should have knew that. Word. Ain't no need no Browns in this town. You a new jack. It's crummy, y'all. Peace, world. To promote your music or promote your business by placing an ad on MREC TV, contact MREC TV promo. M R E C K T V promo at gmail.com. Peace. Oh, yeah. Subscribe to MREC TV, youtube.com slash MREC TV. I'm gone. Wreck TV. It's got a music.